I'm Therese Garnier in Washington, D.C. Here's what we are tracking right now on Newsy. Healthcare consultants say companies across the country are asking how they can make workplaces safer after the World Health Organization said the coronavirus may spread through airborne droplets. Many companies have used WHO guidance to prevent spreading the virus, including implementing mask policies, putting up plexiglass barriers, and upgrading ventilation systems. But now they're wondering if they have done enough to combat tiny droplets that may linger in the air for hours. Consultants are advising employers to implement frequent restroom cleanings, temperature checks, and health questionnaires. In other news, Chicago's mayor is implementing tighter restrictions on businesses across the city this week to try to curb a recent spread of the coronavirus. In a statement, Mayor Lori Lightfoot said, quote, while we aren't near the peak of the pandemic from earlier this year, none of us wants to go back there, and we feel there are restrictions that will help limit further community spread. Establishments that serve alcohol or offer services like face waxing or shaving will be impacted. Restrictions go into effect this Friday. And the Department of Homeland Security also plans to deploy around 150 agents to the Windy City this week. Homeland Security Investigations agents will reportedly be there to assist other federal and local law enforcement. What exactly they'll be doing is unclear. This comes after President Trump announced how his administration plans on dealing with crime in big cities like Chicago. Federal agents were recently deployed to protest in Oregon, and their actions have been under intense scrutiny. Now be sure to keep checking in with us here at Newsy for the latest information. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you're up bright and early in the morning, tune in to find out what's happening from our Adam El Rashidi. Or you can check back in every afternoon to get updates from yours truly. But before you go anywhere, check out this next story coming up right now on Newsy.